is uh, not the easiest of press conferences. Um, when you come after, I think, uh, a game like that and uh, a performance like that, people, uh, you have, there's a lot of evaluation that has to be done. Um, when you look at our game, um, for us, uh, we're an offensive line driven offense and uh, uh, we just didn't have the, the production from those guys needed, I think, necessary, necessary to be uh, successful. Um, we didn't play well at wide out. Um, and uh, you look at some of the struggles that we had, I think it's going to come back to uh, those two groups uh, finding ways to make plays. But I think ultimately for us, for any team to be successful, uh, you got to play well up front. We, we didn't do that. Um, we, could, we didn't run the ball well. Uh, we didn't pass protect well. Uh, we have to do a better job at that point um, and putting our guys, uh, making sure our guys are prepared and ready to go for the next game. Drew, how do you get better up front? Uh, is it a matter of... Uh do you have to change the depth chart? How do you get better up front? Uh, for us, I, the biggest problem that we had uh, during the game uh, was just simply, I mean, guys living in their own world. You know, if, if you're an offensive lineman and you put your head down and stare at the guy in front of you, uh, there's a lot of things that can happen. There's, there's blitzes, there's movements, uh, and there, was, there wasn't very much communication going on in there. Um, and then when things got hard, um, you know, uh, we got down. You didn't see uh, you didn't see people trying to help each other out in there. You saw people that's trying to survive, and uh, we're not going to be uh, successful uh, trying to do that. We have to we have to keep our heads up. We have to keep our eyes up. We have to communicate any offense in the country, regardless of what you do. If there's a lack of communication, there's a lack of vision of what's going on with the defensive front, uh, the defensive pressures. Uh, you're gonna you're not gonna have any chance for success. Your well, analogy of the competition was excellent. Uh, People see five completions you know, over two games and wonder if there's anything play calling wise or personnel wise that could have been different to spark the passing game. Yeah, you know, I'm, I ask myself the same thing because that's certainly not for lack of effort. I can promise you that. The um, we're, we're continuously uh, researching ways, and uh, we redid uh, some things uh, on third down and, and in some of the passing situations. Um, but you look at it too, honestly. Uh, if we don't protect. It, it doesn't matter what plays we call, and uh, we didn't uh, we didn't do a great job of that. Uh, there was people in the backfield. We didn't identify pressures, um, so it's hard to get any. You look at a majority of the incompletions, the throwaways, uh, people trying to make sure that we salvage yardage and not take sacks. So uh, we got to do a better job there. Coaches, with the wide receiver struggles, have you thought of making any personnel changes? Maybe Justin Goodwin out there, or a defensive guy, uh, anything of that nature. We have. You start moving. Uh, if you look at take a look at any NFL roster, and you know the how much are NFL running backs getting paid as comparatively to what they were to the rest of positions, you know, 20 years ago, running backs were the premium position, uh, and now they're not as much uh, because you need a bunch of them. Um, and so we take Justin Goodwin out, um, and he's not running the ball for us because he's out there catching routes. You're down to one or two running backs possibly. Um, we have talked about moving him around. I think he can do some things for us. We have explored. Uh, a two-back set for us to maybe get uh, some more production from those guys, um, but uh, I think for some of the we, we got to we got to have guys that, that go out and make some plays for us too, um, and uh, we got to do a great job I think as coaches of finding ways to get those guys help those guys get open as best we can. But I think we got to have uh, guys that go make plays as well. Sure, you kind of just touched on this too, but. You told us when you first got here that you do a lot. You adapt the offense to the personnel, so to speak. So, not that you would change the spread to the pro style, but have you thought about like maybe I don't know huddling or some under center plays or something that these guys maybe are familiar with, just because that's what they came here to do? Uh, yeah. To be honest with you, if you go evaluate the tape from last year, uh, the the plays that we run as compared to the plays that they run last year, you're not going to see a whole lot of difference in total scheme. Uh, power is power, counter is counter, inside zone is inside zone. Um, and yeah, great. Did we slow the game down? Yeah, we, we tried to, we slowed the game down a lot. Uh, and uh, for a number of reasons, obviously. But uh, uh, yeah, we have slowed the game down. We're not playing uh, as fast as we'd like to, I think, from a philosophical standpoint, in effort to get some of that communication that we just uh, alluded to. Um, because if that doesn't happen, uh, you're not going to have it. Like I said, you're not going to have a chance to be successful on any offensive play, much less a whole series. So uh, yeah, we are slowing things a little bit down to, to help those guys get their, their eyes, their mind, the communication in the right place. 
curious on a personal level. You you know you get to run your offense and you know, how frustrating it must be to you know to have this two week stretch just from you know, personally, as coach. Oh man, uh, frustrating. I don't know if this is the right word. I, you know, there's a lot of words, a lot of emotions that come up with that. Um, uh, I don't want to take anything away from our opponents. Um, we've played two of the, the best teams, in the, we've played th three of the best teams, the top five teams in the country this year. Um, it is frustrating when you don't have production. Um, it's frustrating for me professionally, I think it's frustrating for our staff professionally, uh, but I think for our, our players, I think that's the, the bigger factor. Um, you want, we, get, we come to work every day because we love ball and we love winning, we love yards and touchdowns and all that stuff is great, uh, but you come because uh, I think you coach college ball and not maybe not NFL football. I, I don't really have a, a desire, a deep desire to go coach in the NFL because we like 18 to 22 year olds and the impact that you have in those guys' lives. And when those guys are having success, you watch the, what the, the impact is on the rest of their life, their social life, their spiritual life, uh, what's happening in their academics. Um, everything just, just just trending up and trending up and trending up. So uh, yes, we'd like to we'd like to play better, but for a number of reasons and. Me professionally, yeah, frustrated is uh, an apropos term, uh, probably to a deeper degree than uh, what generally is associated with it. True. Not, not trying to give you an excuse, but I'm curious how difficult it's been to change on the fly to not the last two games to not have a generic somebody who who can line up somebody plays somebody who's explosive, kind of a wild card. How how has that been trying to uh, adjust to his absence? Uh, it's it. When your best player leaves, there's always a big adjustment, and uh, uh, I love that kid, not just because he was a, a, an incredible football player, he is, um, and will be again at some point, um, but uh, it, it has been an adjustment. It's guys that have been able to be role players and have been in that, uh, so to speak, you know, you don't want anybody to consider themselves a role player, but so to speak, in, in, in comparison to Janarian, you know, who lit up the scoreboard and the stat sheet. Um, people are forced, I think, into positions to, to grow up fast. You look at a guy like Jawan Harris, who's now playing that position, that slot receiver, that eight, what we call the H position. Uh, a redshirt freshman who wasn't with us in spring ball, um, he was playing baseball, and uh, hey, Jawan, uh, Janarian's out, you were playing outside receiver in a backup role, okay? Now, hey, I want you to come in and be the starting slot receiver, uh, and, and I need you to be really good at it. And uh, your credit to that kid, he, he's come along a long way. He's had to grow up, you know. Uh, he's had to mature in ways that uh, he wasn't uh, expecting. And uh, so it, it is hard. It is an adjustment. Everybody's got to do uh, more. Uh, everybody's got to ask themselves and ask of each other more. And uh, we have to do a better job, I think, of being a cohesive unit um, on offense for us to be successful. And everybody, so everybody can fill that role. Um, not that. Uh, not that it can't be done, you know what I mean, but uh, I think that uh, we can't, uh, the days of relying on Janarian, hey, j just get the ball to one, he'll, he'll make it happen. Um, that doesn't exist anymore, and uh, he's just not there. And we love him to death, and we you know, hope for a speedy recovery, and hopefully maybe one day we get him back. Uh, if not, I hope he has an incredible NFL career. Um, but uh, in the meantime, uh, what's best for Rutgers football is uh, we all got to grow up a little bit, we all got to mature, and we got to uh, do things that uh, uh, players haven't done yet, and uh, they need to, and for us to have success. Take two more questions. Uh, Drew, I'm just curious, you know, is there any concern within the coaching staff right now in keeping the fans' interest or the perception by the fans when the offense isn't playing well like it has in, in the past couple of weeks? Uh, no. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, if we sat around and started considering third-party entities, and not that you consider the, the fans, you, you love the fans' support, um, but you're, you're entertaining new factors into, uh, into an equation that don't necessarily apply to your production. And uh, I don't think that's a, a smart way to do business. I, you know, for you guys, uh, you guys get uh, criticized and praised on, on a daily basis the same way that I do for what you write, what you support, or what you don't support. So um, for you guys, I know that you, you have a fan base uh, or a, a, a readership that you have to uh, attend to, uh, but I don't think that any professional is, is truly uh, weighing the concerns or weighing the opinions all the time of their fan. You're, you're doing the best job that you can, and uh, you're fighting every single day uh, to put your players, who are your real constituency, 
okay, in the best position, uh, the best frame of mind, and the best preparation to go out and be successful. And uh, I, does it suck uh, when you hear some of the stuff? And yeah, yeah not, not real pumped about it. And, and believe me, uh, I'm the first one uh, to, to feel it, uh, me personally, and, you know, emotionally and mentally. Uh, and then you get it piled on top of you. I get it. Um, but uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think that's the right thing to do, at least not in fairness to our players. Uh, going back to Janari, was he able to mask some of the deficiencies you have, whether it be on the offensive line or the other wide receiver positions? I don't know, coming out. Uh, yeah, uh, yes and no. Uh, the the offensive line is the offensive line. Um, you know, when Janari gets the ball, it's the, the last play that he played. Um, they over they put too many guys in the box, and we essentially, for all intents and purposes, threw a bubble out there to him. Uh, we were in a different, you know, and uh, he made a couple guys miss. Uh, broke some tackles, but that was simply that, that's a schematic. That's a numbers equation uh, He does I think in the past game he did help with some of that but in terms of the offensive line play um, Which hasn't been good the past two weeks Janarian had nothing to do with that you look at the way that, uh, we ran the ball uh, Decent against Washington uh, and Janarian had a little bit to do with that because somebody's got to account for that guy uh, but not in terms of uh, communication and just plain old execution old-school regular football Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, Jess.